All right, and what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to fix the blue flashing light slash no devices found problem with the Hophog HD PVR 60 slash, I don't know, HD PVR 2. I don't know what all devices have this issue, but I would imagine it would be for all devices by Hophog. So anyways, it's a very easy issue to fix. Um, as you can see, I have GTA 5 pulled up on my TV and it's not showing up in the preview screen, so it's a really easy issue to fix. If I already said that, I don't know. Basically, let's get right into this. So I'm going to close out of Hophog real quick. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to. I'm going to come down here, go into the Start menu, go into the Power Settings, go to Restart. Now here's what you want to do. You want to hold Shift, and click restart at the same time while still holding shift when you get this please wait screen you can let go of shift and then just wait for the screen to pop up this issue I believe happens to people who are using Windows 8.1 Windows 8 and Windows 10 maybe Windows 7 I'm not quite sure but I know Windows 10 has this issue because that's what I'm using Windows 10 so we're just going to wait for this to load real quick, and then I'll show you what to do from there. Alright, so now we're in this little selection screen here, it says choose an option. You want to click on troubleshoot, click advanced options, click startup settings, and hit restart down there. Now it's going to kind of run a little restart thing, I believe. So it's going to do this for a second. It won't take too long. Awesome. Now you have the startup settings screen. As you can see up here, it says press a number to choose from the options below. And then it says use keys or function keys F1 through F9 to choose one of these ones down here. What we want is number seven there. It says disable driver signature enforcement. You need that option. So it might be different for you on how you have to select those, but as it's, you can see here, it says use number keys or function keys. So I need number seven. I'm going to press F7 on my keyboard right here. And then it's going to restart your computer instantly. So, like I said, it's going to restart this. So I'm going to wait for this to do all of its things. From here, all it's going to do is restart. Then you'll have to sign in again. And then, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys once I get through that. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I've logged into my computer and I opened up the Hophog Capture thing. And as you can see, I now have my game on my Capture Preview screen. It's now working, everything's set up just fine, and the bluish green light that you should see is now on, which just means that it's on standby and ready to record. So, now just for reference, if I were to press record on here, that light will now turn red, meaning it is recording. So, that's how you fix the blue flashing light, flashing light, flashing light and the no devices found issue for the Hophog HTPVR60 slash HTPVR2. If this helped you out, please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding your HTPVR device, please leave a comment and I will try to help you out the best I can. So, bye.